With the new turf at Marge Shot Stadium, the players can sharpen their skills almost year-round. But on this particular day back in November, head coach Ty Neal took away the bats and the gloves. He wanted them to work on a different skill set, leadership under adversity. What you're going to experience today is, is not going to be a lot about your physical ability. It's going to be about your ability to adapt and adjust to ambiguous environments that you're not well prepared for, that you have little or no experience with. Coach Neal brought in some old friends to test his young group. Lieutenant Colonel Mike Ogden and John Keenan, a Green Beret, used their military background to challenge this young team. Uh, they're going to have an opportunity to think critically, act decisively, and uh, get the job done. Uh, only they're going to do it in our environment, an environment that uh, we learn to, uh, to train uh, military leaders and teams to accomplish some very uh, complex missions in ambiguous situation environments. I have to blindfold every one of you with your caps. I have to get on the stretcher. We have to get all of our stuff across campus without with all of you being blindfolded, okay? And you carry it on your shoulders, okay? So two guys carry the stretcher and the other two will carry the water. Okay. Blindfolded and carrying a teammate who's guiding them across campus along with other items to Burnett Woods, that was the first task at hand. All right. Sure. All right. Hey, we're going down. Down, 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 Get it up, get it up, Matt. I think it's important to understand that there's a physical a physical component, but it's also a, a, a mental challenge as well. And, and any comp, uh, competitive event, being able to stay checked in mentally, I think is a big part of it, and that's one of the things that we, we get after today. What was our mission? What was our desired end state? What were we supposed to accomplish? After discussing the challenge as a group and making it a learning opportunity, it was off to the next one. What you're gonna do is tie the rope here, okay. uh, span it across to those two trees right here, okay. and then you have to shuttle everything across. So you'll hook it up and then you'll pull it across. All right, first team that gets everything across wins. Pull it, pull it, CC, pull the rope back. Setting up a rope bridge to move items across a ditch has nothing to do with hitting or fielding, but it changes the mental approach and tests thinking under pressure, which can certainly happen both on the field and in the locker room. You've got a four-year window uh, to throw a group of guys from different parts of the country and different uh, backgrounds um, together and, and, and make the most of it. And I think it is important for each guy to know that, you know, the day I'm struggling or, um, you know, maybe who's, who's one of my teammates that I turn to in adverse situations or, or who do we lean on more, a little bit more in, um, in, in big situations. Uh, but, but most importantly, I, I think it's important for each guy to know, um, you know, who the leaders are in this program. The season starts on February 13th, and there won't be any blindfolds or rope bridges. Instead, it's 10 games in three different cities, from Mississippi to California to North Carolina. That's adversity. I, I think any organization that deals with uncertainty has to train for that, and to really get good, you have to experience it. So. Uh, the idea is we take these kids and we put them in an environment that they're not familiar with, i.e. a military-like uh, environment. Uh, and then when they encounter ambiguity as a shortstop, uh, they know how to think through it mentally and, and attack it in the best way possible. One of the major program goals for us is uh, not, not just the winning, but the academics, but also I want to make sure our guys leave here better human beings, uh, prepared for the real world. Uh, for some it might be professional baseball, for some it might be the workforce right away. Uh, for some, it might be, you know, uh, building a family uh, right away after college. A lot of real adversity that, that's going to be thrown at them, um, and, and this is just another little thing um, program-wise that I think it is important that they're exposed to some leadership uh, tactics. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Attaboy. Move. Move. There we go. Attaboy. <laughs>